Hi, welcome to Math Test Prep, where today we're going to answer a standardized math test question where we determine a sample of a population. The manager of a company wants to survey a representative sample of the company's employees to choose a company logo. Which of the following is a representative sample of the company's employees? So we are given four scenarios and we need to determine which one of the four would be the best representation of a sample of the company's employees for them to choose in a logo. So we want to choose one that has no bias and is the broadest range of people in the company. So the first thing we're going to do is identify that we are talking about a company's employees. So the first choice is every third employee from the largest department in the company. So the largest department in the company is just one part of the company, but there could be very, this alludes to the fact that there are smaller departments. So this would be biased because we're talking about one department and not the entire company. So we're gonna say no to A. Part B says every employee who enters the employee's cafeteria. Well, the cafeteria may be somewhere where some people don't ever visit. I can tell you that at my school, I never go to the teacher's cafeteria. So that would not be a random survey. That would be biased to anybody just who happens upon the cafeteria. And part C, every third employee on the company's payroll. Well, that seems pretty broad. That means everybody in the company is on the payroll and they're gonna do every third employee. So there's zero bias, it's just, our random sampling. So I'm gonna keep C as a possibility. D, every employee who is under the age of 35. Well, that shows bias. That means you're only asking the younger people of the company and anybody over the age of 35 doesn't get to weigh in on the new logo. So I'm gonna say that that's not random. So the most random choice would be C, every third employee on the company's payroll. <laughs> 